Hey, what's up interwebs? I'm that toy guy and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generation 1 Astro Train. And I thought I'd film this by starting with the first thing that's in his name, which is Astro. So here's the space shuttle. And this is this is not the original, this is the reissue version. I don't have the box for it. And I've run out of things to throw at the moment. But yes, this is the reissued white version. And in space shuttle mode it looks pretty good for a G1 toy. Also, the stickers came pre-applied, obviously, because it was used, so... I have, like, I know he's missing this sticker right at the bottom here. But overall, it's nice. It is cool. Not very... not a lot of floppiness on this toy, too, which is amazing. And he does roll. Very well. And, yeah, he does have a rub symbol. Which I know I will probably get flack for rubbing it, but I don't care. He's a Decepticon, obviously. And yeah, he does have, for sticker detailing, he's got, I don't know if my camera will work here. He's got some stuff that says, what is it, caution, lights, something, valve, switch, pump lever, stuff like that. Two, he's got two Decepticon symbols on his wings. Some nice, very space shuttle-y detail with a massive gap at the top. You got it. The cockpit up here is nice. This bit does not want to stay down on mine, which kind of sucks. But yeah, you got the cockpit. On the underside, you just see train. And then he's got the thrusters at the back. So he's pretty cool. For accessories, he comes with this gun here. Which is just casting gray plastic, a black plastic. And it has nowhere to store. I mean, you can put it in there. And that kind of works, but it has no official place to store. And the peg is so small, so you can't give it to any other Transformer figure. Other than maybe this guy. So yeah, it is, it is a pretty cool toy, though. It's very small. Like, here he is next to Skydive. Which I very carefully got him into airplane mode for this. So there he is next to Skydive. And as you can see, not scale-wise they don't work, but lengthwise Astro Train is a bit longer. And here he is next to another G1 figure, Optimus Prime. And again, Astro Train is a bit longer. But scale never existed in G1. I mean, in G1, they had Starscream climb into him. And when they transformed, Starscream was taller than him. So, yeah, scale never worked. And here he is next to a more modern-ish style plane. With Mind Wipe. So, yeah, he's cool. Now, he is one of the Decepticon Triple Changers which means he has another vehicle mode, which we will get to now. So the first thing you want to do is you want to fold this in, take the wings, fold them up until they click, then fold these sections down, and take the entire train, a space shuttle, and flip it over. Then take these side panels here, and clip them, bring them down, and fold out that little panel there. Same on this side, like that, and now you have a weird looking bullet train. Then you want to take these two panels here, fold them up, take the space shuttle cockpit. Now this is tricky. You want to rotate it forward, then get your thumb in here and push, push it out, then rotate it all the way in. If you don't push it out, you will break it. Then just close those panels back up. There you have them in train mode. And again, he rolls. Very well. Does have the whole reissue stamp there. God, camera's just like not being cooperative today. There you go. He does have the whole reissue stamp there and the number, which is kind of glaring, and they only painted that part of the train. The rest of it's just not painted. But, I mean, it's G1. And this entire front section here, by the way, is die cast. Which is, which is nice. Overall, though, he does have a lot of nice sculpted detail all over the train. On the side here, the nice steam train. 
Again, this section this might stay closed. You got the front section here. You got the chimney for the train. And again, he has thrusters, but you have this nice little archway at the back, which I like how they included that. Again, for comparison, here is skydive. And here is Optimus Prime. And again, that's not the scale. But, oh well. So yeah, that's basically it. So, I guess robot mode. So, well, before I do that, I just want to point out that the plastic black is very different than this black. Like, I wish they had painted this in a shiny coat of black rather than just a matted black to match the die cast. But oh well. Anyway, to transform this guy into robot mode, first thing you want to do is you want to fold these flaps in, like that. And these clips right here, I don't know how we can see that. These clips will clip over this section here. So, there you go. There you go. Then you want to bring him around like this. Now he's a thing. You want to fold out the wings. And fold out like that. Then you want to come down here and split the legs. Like so. And then bring them down. Until you hear them click. Then you want to stand them up. Then you want to move your desk so that it doesn't hit the wall. And make a god awful noise. Then what you want to do is you want to come around here and get your fingernail in here. And push. Then push. Then bring the arm out. Do the same on this side. Here. There you go. And then fold this section back. Very carefully, because I have seen people break the heads off their Astro Train, because it's very loose. You take this, and it's on a double hinge here, so you just collapse it on his back. And you want to take this section, bring it up, push it down, and split it. And there you have Astro Train in his robot mode. And he's weird looking. He's got big blocky legs and tiny stumpy arms and a really small head. So you can get the head sculpt here. It's very, very small. But it is very Astro Trainy. So, I mean, that's good, I guess. I love how the new um, Titan Return Astro Train has these two things on it as well. These are just clips for the thing to peg in, but I love how they included that. And he's got his, like, soccer goalie stickers on his. Yeah, that doesn't look right. Oh well. <laughs> um. But yeah, overall, he looks nice. You have everything from every mode poking out on here. Mainly Space Shuttle, but at the back, it's all train. And the back looks nice. The silhouette from the back is very blurry. Come on, camera. The shiny plastic's not doing well. But the back, trust me, it looks good. From the front, he's white, which is funny. Now... You do have this peg here, and he does have ports in his fists, so you can plug the gun in. But his rifle's about the size of him, and his arms don't even hold it up. That's the only floppiness on here. The arms are super floppy because they're on ball joints, and I hate ball joints. But yeah, for comparison, here he is with, again, the very, very delicate skydive. As you can see, he's just a little, he's like a head shorter than a deluxe. So he's a pretty good size. Just very carefully move that over here. And here he is next to G1 Prime. And again, that's not the scale at all. But who cares? And just for the heck of it, here he is next to a, a just completed Zaku. So he's about the same height as a high grade Gundam. Which is nice. Not that those continuities ever crossed, it's still nice. So yeah, our, his only articulation is the ball joints and the shoulders, and the fact that he has a hinge here. That's about it. I mean, his legs can go out about that far, but I mean, why would you want to? 
But yeah, for a G1 figure, this thing's pretty good. And if you're a G1 collector, like any Transformers fan should be, I mean, if you're not a G1 collector, then what's the point? No, I'm just kidding. Collect whatever you want. But if you like collecting G1, then you should definitely have this figure. Probably get the G1 version, not the reissue, because G1 version is more accurate. But, hey, whatever you guys want to buy is whatever you want to buy, right? So, yeah, I highly recommend you pick this thing up. So, this has been the Transformers Generation 1 2012 reissue Astro Train. And I'm that toy guy, and stay tuned for my next video.